908 at your hometown station, Coho 101, the Coho Morning Show, brought to you by Cascade Mechanical on uh, Thursday. It's the 3rd of March, 2022. This hour of the show, uh, as I mentioned, brought to you by Cascade Mechanical and featuring our weekly chat with the Nick McLean Real Estate Group. This week, we have the man himself in studio with us today. Nick is here and going to talk to us about a number of different things that are of interest to folks within the region related to the real estate game. And uh, Nick's good to see you. Great to be here. You've been at this for how long now? 14 years, and our office is having our 10-year anniversary in March. Well, oh, wow. this month, 10-year yeah, anniversary. It's here. Well, congratulations. Mm -hmm. That uh, 14 years for you doing real estate here in the area, 10 for your offices. And we were just talking about all the things that have changed in that amount of time. And, I mean, really, it's, it's changed a lot. You were talking about how you get very few calls off signs in yards anymore. And, I mean, the whole world has just kind of changed as far as real estate is concerned. It's complete. Well, yeah, and it... it was accelerated with COVID and the pandemic in terms of how the consumer wants to consume homes or view homes. Mm -hmm. And they've completely changed it. In fact, we had to adjust our marketing because our, our overall goal for, goal for our clients is get them the most money in the least amount of time with the least amount of hassle. And the way you do that is through marketing the home, not just in town, but out of town and using advanced marketing strategies. And what we found was the consumer wanted more video absolutely more video. In fact, when the pandemic hit March, we were non-essential employees or workers. We were at home, but I had, I had 60 listings on the marketplace and we were stuck at home. Mm. And so we thought the market was going to crash, but it did the exact opposite. Yeah. And we were like literally having our sellers and our clients take video tours on their phones and sending them to us so that we could put the video online so that we can get showings. Because when you put your home on the market, you want people in your home to look at it. Sure. You want showings. Well, the traditional showing is physically going in the home and walking around. But it's not that case anymore. It's a virtual showing that they want first. Really, the consumer is saying, I want, I want floor plans and I want walkthroughs before I go look at it. And interestingly enough, when the market heated up and there were multiple offers, time kills deals, buyers wanted to get their foot in the door right away. Mm -hmm. And 70% of our buyers are from out of the area, Seattle, Bellevue, Redmond, California, Oregon, Arizona, relocating to our area. In fact, at any given month, we have 45,000 people to our website. Wow. Pre-pandemic, that was about 12,000. Wow. Now we okay. have 45,000 people a month, which shows you the demand to our area, number one. But number two, it shows you how we've adjusted our marketing to attract even more buyers. I mean, 50, all 50 states will show up on our website, multiple provinces, multiple countries. It's really quite, quite amazing, Chris. And so 20%, under 20%, 16% of buyers actually made offers sight unseen based on the videos and the, vi the video and the photos. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Many even waived their home inspection. Wow, really? Yeah, but if your listing isn't positioned or created or, or, or marketed, they're not gonna make an offer sight unseen, right? Would you make an offer sight unseen if the photos weren't quite attractive? Not at all. Yeah. You have to really be in compelling and attractive to the consumer for them to want to make an offer over the internet. And the, you know, you're, Amazon's trained everyone to be okay buying things on the internet. It was unheard of to buy shoes on the internet 15 years ago and then Zappos came around and people became okay with buying shoes online. But homes, I mean, people are buying homes sight unseen. Wow. There was a, there's a pro and con to that, Chris. Well, what happened was a lot of buyers bought homes and they're not happy with their home. They felt rushed and they, there's a little bit of a regret. So we're listing a lot of homes for people that bought homes under, under duress. I wouldn't say duress, but it was just a hot marketplace and a lot going on in the world and they're selling their homes now. People talk about low inventory all the time, and I'm just over it. There's not a low, we don't have low inventory. We have, a, we have low active inventory, but we have active inventory. There's new listings coming on all the time, and I believe in the, in the near future, we're gonna see an uptick in listings. We talked about it earlier. The second week of March is statistically the best week all year to list your home. So if you're a homeowner and you wanna get top dollar for your home, Statistically, you're going to get more money than any, any other week if you list the second week of March, which, wow. which is right around the corner. And then it, it progressively gets worse for you as it gets closer and closer to the summertime. See, everyone wants to wait till the spring and the summer. It's actually too late because what's happening is you're getting more and more competition. 
I talked to my concrete, I'm doing a concrete driveway. He came over to my house. I said, what have you been doing right now? He goes, I'm pouring foundations all over the place. Every builder is calling him to pour foundations. Well, those homes are going to hit the market in April and May. So you don't want to be competing against new construction. You don't want to do it because new always beats old. Now, okay, Nick, I get it. I want nuance and I want character. Yes, there's a niche market for that, for sure. But if it's same, same, apples to apples, they're going to choose new or the bell curve is going to choose the new home. So you don't want to compete against new construction. The other thing that's happening is we're going to have massive inventory come online when the mask mandate is lifted. Mm -hmm. I believe this. I think behaviorally people that have put off putting their home on the market will now put their home on the market. We've seen a massive decline in people downsizing in the marketplace the last two years. They just decided to stay in their home. I mean, 5,000 square foot home, two people in it. They stayed in it until things kind of settle in or whatever, you know, they, they've been following the guidelines and the mandates and they're, they've been very um, protective and taking precautions for safety and putting their home on the market and moving around and having pe strangers in their home wasn't on top of their priority list. So they put off movement. They put off doing that because anytime you have like an emergency situation, you know, you revert back to safety and safety is let's just stay where we are and make it work. You saw more remodeling projects. A lot of people refinance their homes to cash out to do remodel projects. Well, guess what? Those people are now going to consider selling their home and that's going to raise inventory. So if you're a buyer, if you're a homeowner that hasn't bought, sold your home because you couldn't find a home, guess what? You need to be actively looking on our website, nickmcclainrealestate.com, because you're going to see a lot more inventory hitting the marketplace. There's a lot of pent-up demand. That's going to gobble up most of these homes, but there's going to be a settling in where inventory is going to outpace demand. And it's going to outpace demand because prices have gone so high and interest rates have risen as well that the affordability of the home has gone down. So April, May, June, we could see a softening in the marketplace, a, a shift from the seller's market to a buyer's market. So there is a window of opportunity for homeowners that, you know, you always said it. I know you always said it, you know, you know, buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high. And someday you were going to do it right. Well, this is your opportunity to do it right. It really is because it's like, Timing is so difficult to do in the housing market, but this is the time that you can sell high. You can actually sell high. Yeah. You don't have to buy high and buy low. You may be thinking, hey, Nick, well, if I sell, I'm still going to be buying high. Not if you're downsizing. Not if you're downsizing. You're still lowering your payment, your mortgage payment, or a lot of our, a lot of our clients are paying cash because they have so much equity. Why do you think people are moving here from Seattle? They sell over there for one and a half, two million, and they pay cash 700. You can do the same thing locally, especially if you arbitrage our area. You're in Leavenworth, sell a home in Leavenworth and move to Dryden, Monitor, Pajastin, Wenatchee, East Wenatchee, right? You're gonna downsize and, and arbitrage the marketplace and get something for cash. So it, it's a great opportunity for that. And uh, again, Nick here in person with us today as uh, part of the Coho Morning Show. Nick, it's good to see you. Great to see you, Chris.